Now, the tablet is the must-own electronic gadget right now, but at $500 for an entry-level iPad, price can be prohibitive, and that's especially true in emerging markets. So India has decided to subsidise affordable tablets. The Arkash, which means sky in Hindi, will cost us $35. It's designed by Datawind, a UK-based company. The government has an initial order for 100,000 tablets in an effort to increase computer literacy. Well, we're joined by the man behind the $35 tablet. Sunit Singh Tuli is the chief executive of Datawind, and he joins us now from New Delhi. A very good day to you, sir. Just tell me a little bit more about what you get for this price. I know the Indian government is heavily subsidizing this, but how have you managed to come in quite so cheaply for quite a, a, a sophisticated piece of technology? Uh, thank you for having me. You've asked me two questions. Let, let me answer them in, in order. The, the first is, what do you get for it? What you get is a 7-inch Android 2.2 uh, tablet, which has Wi-Fi built in. Uh, we've also, uh, we will also be embedding GPRS modules and SIMs in these units. The devices will take advantage of a patented compression acceleration technology that our company has, has created. We've received 18 patents on how we deliver the web. So you get a fast desktop-like web experience no matter where you are, either on Wi-Fi or on a mobile network. In addition to that, it's a great multimedia device. It plays a good quality HD video, full HD video, and of course maintains your music libraries and so on. And, and being on Android, uh, you know, on Google's uh, premium operating system, it gives you access to uh, you know, uh, tens of thousands of applications that exist in that ecosystem, from games to word processing and spreadsheets and other utilities and so on. It, it is a perfect device uh, for somebody that wants basic internet access, basic computing, good quality media, and in that sense, we think that it's a great device for the for the Indian environment. One of the other things that we've done with regards to the Indian environment is that we have uh, structured uh, full-sized USB ports on the device as you know pen drives as they're called are very common in this market so that they can be plugged in allowing you to to not only have access to the content that you have on the pen drive but also have very inexpensive uh, accessories for example this is a keyboard case so in the Indian market where the common man's looking for his first computer not necessarily his first tablet this would allow him uh, the equivalent of a computer with a keyboard and and, and so on. So, sure, so very expensively, can I just, uh, can I just uh, these you, products will be delivered to the Indian consumer. So can I just ask you about the actual price? Because you yes, know, I know that this is being, we're talking about a $35 computer, but how much is it costing you to actually produce this? And how much is the Indian government actually subsidizing it by? So uh, the first delivery that we are made, making to the Indian government is at $49.98 a unit, which includes a whole variety of the things in addition to the cost of the hardware. The X factory cost of the hardware to the Indian government in the quantity that they're initially purchasing, 100,000 units, is $37.98. We've given proposals to the Indian government that in larger quantities, million, million plus units, uh, the price would be sub $35. What it costs us is, is a private matter, but but I assure you that there's a healthy margin in there for us. And uh, as a business, uh, we're excited about this opportunity, and we're excited about the profits that this opportunity generates for us. Um, so uh, the $35 level price points are not subsidized price points. What the Indian government wants to do is that for the first 100,000 units, they want to make them available for free as part of a field trial that they're conducting. But over the next six to eight months, they want to deploy about 10 million units so that almost every post-secondary student in this country would have a device. And that they will, that they're suggesting, they may only subsidize half of that $35 so that uh, what, what will be left uh, is what, what the student will pay. So about 17-ish dollars, you know, sub 1,000 rupees uh, in the Indian market for that student. Uh, to be able to get a fantastic uh, uh, computing internet device uh, that not only delivers portability to him, uh, give, you know, gives him access to the world's biggest library, the, the billions and billions of pages of content that exist on the web. And what about uh, it's not what about the iPad? You know, it's not the Samsung Galaxy Tab. The, 
Yes, I was just going to ask you first of all because Sorry. I mean, you know, even at, even at these prices, forty nine ninety five, whatever it is, it is incredibly cheap for the actual product that you've got and the technology. So, how have you managed to get those costs right down? I know you're a British company, but is production being completely sourced in India? Yes. So uh, we, we're manufacturing this product in India, and uh, but. Uh, we're based out of the UK. We have R&D offices in the UK, in Montreal, and and in India. So it's it's uh, developed uh, in, in multiples of R&D centers. Um, there are three key reasons that uh, we're able to get the price to uh, uh, you know levels that nobody's been able to achieve to date. Um, the, the first is because of this compression acceleration technology that we've created, we shift the burden of processing from the client device to the cloud to backend servers. And that helps reduce the cost of the processors that we use in the device. The second is, you know, because of our 22 years of manufacturing experience with a whole variety of uh, consumer electronic products, uh, we are a lot more vertically integrated than the average manufacturer. So instead of buying modular level of parts, we end up buying component parts. Uh, how I explain it to people is that if you think of the average manufacturer in China or elsewhere when they build products of this nature, their bill of material consists of maybe 50 components. In our case, the bill of material com consists of 800 components. It, it's the same product at the end of the day, except the level of vertical integration that we do eliminates a lot of the middleware margin and reduces that cost. There, there's a third very important component to how and why we're able to get costs down. We look at not just the hardware margin. Our business model focuses on monetizing the operating system. So we end up generating recurring revenue streams from value-added services that we provide the customer. So the hardware margin is certainly very important for us, but that's not the only opportunity for us when we deliver millions of these units uh, to the Indian government or the Indian consumer or the government or consumers everywhere else in the world. Uh, I, I'm not sure if you're familiar, in the UK, the products that we sell, we sell with free mobile internet. In India, we, don't, we cannot function as a mobile virtual network operator, but in the UK and a number of the markets, we are an MVNO, a mobile virtual network operator. So we bundle in data costs into the device. When you buy our pocket surfer device, for example, in the UK for 150 pounds, you get unlimited internet access for the life of the device with no limitations anywhere in the UK on the Vodafone network.